Hello, Internet. If you are anything like me, you are always in pursuit of the next best filament. Well, it just so happens that I was sent some filament recently. I was sent some Ace Adity PLA Plus filament. And they did send it to me in yellow, which uh, I'm not normally a big fan of. I can't say that I would have ordered yellow for myself. Um, however, they did send it to me to test it out. Um, they're not paying me anything for it. They just sent me out a free roll so that I could do an informative video about it. So this is the yellow that we're working with here. This is one of the tests that I did. I made a little bearing um, because I wanted to check and see if it's able to get small, intricate stuff um, without any issues. And I did print two of these out. One of them did give me just a little bit of a hiccup in it. Um, you can see, maybe you can't see, right, right there. However, it still works just fine, and so does this one. So this was all print in place, and no other issues. Um, you can squeeze it. I've been tossing them around and fiddling with them all day, and they work perfectly fine. If you follow my channel at all, you know that I primarily do stuff like articulating prints, uh, primarily like these dragons here. Um, so this was the main thing that I wanted to do a test on, um, because I wanted to see how well I could get this to print. and. It printed great. I uh, ran this on my Bamboo Labs printer here. You can see I've still got it uh, connected to my printer right there. And uh, the reason that I wanted to run it on there instead of on the uh, Neptune over there is because I really wanted to test and see if it could run fast because that is one of the claims that they make on it. Um, I had this running on. Uh, just the normal general settings, but I did run it on ludicrous speed, which is 166% of the speed. Um, and there's no issues with that at all. It printed out perfect on that fast speed. And uh, that's not the same that I can say about some other filaments that I've used. This one right here is uh, an R3D filament, and I do like the R3D, but when I switched over to the, uh, to the ludicrous speed on this, it ended up popping this off of the heat bed. So I had to uh, kind of hairspray it back in place and slow it down. After that, it ended up printing fine. I did also print out a test uh, cell phone holder. Which I've got here, which I've been running a whole bunch of extra tests on. I'll go ahead and uh, show those to you here now. What's up is down, what's left is right. Chasing stars and holding you. I can't see the end, but we'll see it through. Keep 
And for the very last test that I did, um, I'm sure some of you are going to think this is very extreme, but um, I do work as a gunsmith, so figured the final test, I would pop this up in our range and fired a, through, a few rounds through it. And you know what? It held up fine. After uh, popping five into this guy, it still functions just fine. Um, I even put the five pound weight back on top of it and no issues with that. And as a matter of fact, I now have this holding up my soundboard, so it still runs just fine. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of expectations going into this because I don't usually use PLA plus filament. Um, I primarily use the uh, silk filaments, but even though I do primarily use the silk filaments, I do still have some PLA plus that I use. Um, this green one over here is a PLA plus that is by, I do not remember who that one's by. Um, so this filament you can get on Amazon or I can give you a link directly to their website. Um, so let me show it to you right over here. This is the Ace Adity PLA Plus filament. They do have a few different kinds of filament. Uh, so again, I will put a link down in the description and pin in the comments below for you. Uh, so the one that they sent me is the yellow, uh, which that one's running at uh, 23 bucks right now per kilogram. Um, and uh, they've got all kinds of different colors and color options for you. So. They've got uh, black, white, silver, and then they've got combos. They've got your blue, green, uh, gray, red, red and blue, orange. Uh, so they've got all kinds of different uh, options for you. When I was looking at Amazon on my cell phone, it had a few uh, multicolor packs available, like six packs of different colors. Um, but I don't see that when I'm on my computer, so I don't know if that might be coming soon, or perhaps that might have been a limited time thing. Um, so keep your eyes open for that. Uh, long story short, I definitely would say that I recommend this filament. Um, it surprisingly prints very well. Um, you don't get a lot of thick lines or anything like that. And I just ran this at 0.2. Um, same thing with the dragon. I didn't run that at any crazy, um, crazy high detail or anything like that. And it turned out solid. So I, uh, I'm very impressed with that and how it turned out. Um, let me know in the comments what filaments you use or, you know, if there's any other filaments that you want me to check out. Uh, if there's anybody that wants to send me more filaments to review. You can email me at idiotcraftman at gmail.com and uh, I will check out any filaments or anything else that you want me to try out. If you've tried out this filament before and you like it, uh, leave a comment down below. Um, I know sometimes these are different prices in different parts of the world. Um, so this is what we've got available in the US market right now. I know sometimes, uh, like Canada or the UK, will have very different pricing, so might be different there, might not even be available for you there. Um, either way, let me know in the comments, and definitely let me know if you've tried it, um, what you thought about it. I have nothing but great uh, comments about it. If you think there's anything else that you want to see me try printing with this, also let me know, and uh, I might 
uh, run one or two things from the comments and do a follow-up video on that. Um, but yeah, if you're planning on picking any of this up, leave a comment down below. Um, definitely throw us a like and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. And good luck printing. Also, I did just get set up with an Amazon storefront, so I will be putting a link to that in the comments and descriptions down below. Uh, that will include pretty much everything that I've bought on Amazon as far as 3D printing stuff. So you can see what I actually purchase off Amazon, and uh, that might help you with the things that you're looking for on Amazon. So check that out.